Hello and welcome to Kazu Big Boy Trev Extra. We give you all the latest news and reviews from across the world. So today we are at the Inchcape Center and we've just unveiled the brand new Defender 90. Now this one is the smallest iteration of the Land Rover Defender family which was launched last year with the 110 and of course we're expecting the 130 coming soon plus a stonking V8 that will sure tickle your fancy so What's different? It looks exactly the same as the 110. Of course, you have the highlights of this particular vehicle, clamshell bonnet, as you can see. You do have this particular chucker plate that's right here on the lower bump, and of course, the signature LED daytime running lights that make this car very uniquely Land Rover. Floating roof line as well, and of course, this chucker plate that you can see right here. And actually, Land Rover done an amazing job just to make sure that this particular car gives you that pack, that oof, that genesis core we keep on talking about on Kazu Big Boy Trev. And of course, you do have quite a number of other things that will make this car one of the best 4x4 roads in our country. But how is it inside? Let's step inside and have a look at the Defender 90. So step inside the cabin of the Defender 90 and I can tell it still has that reminiscent look of the old Defender. What have Land Rover done? Let's take a look at the dashboard as you can see. You have this massive display. It's a big dashboard. The highlight of this particular center console is this 10.1 inch PV Pro system. Now the PV Pro system basically um, is the amalgamation of the um, navigation radio. Um, you do have all the telematics of the vehicle and of course allows you to explore the full potential of the terrain response to that comes as standard in this particular Defender. Now the PV Pro actually is very advanced, you do have a Wi-Fi hotspot and 4G connectivity as standard and of course it gets um, over the air updates to allow you that you're able to update the software of this particular PV Pro just like your tablet or your normal phone it is able to do that with ease. Right here is the gear shift, you've probably seen this on the Range Rover Sport, it's an 8-speed automatic ZF and allows you to explore the full power of this uh, particular engine like I mentioned earlier this one is a 3 litre uh, petrol 221 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque four wheel drive and of course it's got a lot of power 0 to 100 in 6.5 seconds top speed 180 kilometers an hour because it is limited and this is a 4x4 so you have to be careful on that of course the highlight again this four, four spoke steering wheel again with the letter defender emblazoned on it it's got tactile field buttons on the left hand side it controls everything to do with this multimedia interface the pv pro on the right hand side you have cruise control and of course adaptive ones because this is a very modern vehicle and of course this particular the pv pro system again the driver digital display fully uh, digital it's clear very crisp hd and it allows you to see the different settings you can actually toggle through you know from sporty to eco and of course will tell you whatever is happening in the car so on the left hand side you have the speedometer right hand side the tachometer in between you have the multi uh, in media information system that gives you vehicle information now i am comfortable as you can see big boy is very comfortable there's plenty of space as you can see there's adjustment for the seats and of course got power and memory adjustment you do have a sunroof here that allows you to enjoy nature as you travel and traverse the beautiful country of Kenya. But how good is the back space? Let's move to the back and have a look at the space of this Defender. So guys, at the back, there's plenty of space. I'm big boy, I'm six foot one. There's plenty of leg and headroom. As you can see, there's plenty of space. Despite it having a panoramic roof, this one I have space. And of course, the leg room, I've pushed the seats forward, but still there's plenty of space. And of course, this actually can fit three people. In terms of safety, it's got six airbags as standard, and you have these curtain airbags that run across. You also have climate control, so it's actually it's proper climate control, not just vents. You can actually control the amount of air that's getting into the back cabin, and everybody can enjoy the cool breeze as they traverse the beautiful country of Kenya. 4G connectivity and high Wi Fi hotspot is available in this particular car. So, how cool is that? We'd love to take this car for a road trip, but the biggest question is how good is it to drive on the road? So we're going to join us way, way later on as we do the review of the Defender 90 coming soon to CBBT. But I know you're asking, how much does this car cost on the road? So prices start at 170,000 US dollars or roughly about uh, 17.5 million Kenya shillings. That's VAT inclusive. And of course, it comes with a five year, 150,000 kilometer warranty, whichever comes first. And of course, you have Gardex protection to protect your paint work and your interior, um, you know, your upholstery from damage. Again, you can also rely on Inchcape Kenya's um, vast network across the country. The dealer partnerships are plenty. And actually, you can go to different parts and be able to get your Land Rover serviced well so guys do you reckon this particular vehicle has what it takes to beat the likes of the jeep uh, rubicon that is also in the market or even now 
this the particular one that has the Kenyan made mobile. We don't know, but you know this one is on a higher scale. But again, I'm really impressed. But what do you think? Do you reckon this particular vehicle has what it takes to win your hearts and minds? Powerful engines, you know, well thought out design, very capable for by four systems. Um, and you, you've got that infotainment system that is out of this world, PV Pro. Again, it's got a lot going on for it, but I don't know in terms of price. What do you know? I have no a scene on the social media handles below. We get back to the feedback next week. We're sending out this is big boy Trev reporting live and direct from Inchcape. See you soon as we do the review of the Defender 90. So, cars with big boy Trev is a unique show. Like I mentioned earlier, the one of its kind. We talk about sports cars, SUVs, but today we're talking to you, the small business owner looking to transport goods and services to last mile connectivity. What am I talking about? From the retailer to the small duka in Mashinani. You need a vehicle that is efficient, that can carry a lot of things, that is easy to maintain and of course gives you absolute value for money. So to John Kazi Big Boy Drive, it's all about this Suzuki Super Carry. Over six years of carrying heritage. And we're going to start this review by taking a look at the design first of this particular Suzuki. Now, as you can see, this particular design, very angular as you can see, it's got that edgy look that Suzuki has employed over the years. So this particular vehicle has been around for over six years, like I mentioned earlier. So as you can see, massive big screen to ensure that you have maximum visibility when you're driving and taking your stuff through the machinery. Not only that, you have very minimal A pillars to reduce blind spots, which helps you to park in different tight spaces when you're driving your stuff from point A to be as you move lower then you can see it's a traditional design very conservative you do this rectangular headlamps these are halogen headlamps and of course this blacked out uh, grill with the suzuki emblem emblazoned on it gives this car that look and feel that it is actually designed properly and of course the grill corresponds with the bumper color coded again just giving this car that edgy feel that you probably find on many others that are in this particular category so suzuki thought about so many things just to make sure that this particular vehicle meets your expectations and then of course you do have a slightly upper bumper just to ensure that you have easy um, approach angle if you're going through ruts and different areas so you're able to move and traverse a beautiful country of Kenya as you deliver your goods and services so apart from that how does the side profile entail let's move to the side and have a look at the side profile of the Suzuki Super Carrier now as you move to the side this particular cabin as you can see has a very interesting design so it looks very minimal as you can see but suzuki are known to actually package cars and make sure that you have plenty of space maximizing of space and making use of this space to ensure that everybody is comfortable and of course you're able to meet the needs of your customer this massive door actually when you open it it actually reveals actually 180 degrees of opening space so there's easy entry and exit of this particular vehicle not only that you can see these subtle lines right here that run across the lower hip line again thinking that they have actually designed this particular vehicle to give it that je ne sais quoi when you're designing a van it's not just a van it does look good so this one the super carry has been designed to make sure that everybody who's buying it feels the sense that suzuki actually works to make sure that this particular vehicle looks extremely good you have this large convex side mirrors that allow you to see actually the whole side angle of the vehicle just to ensure that you're able to see and park properly and you're able to be safe while on the road to finish it up you have this 13 inch high profile tires and these 13 inches are, allow you to actually traverse the different parts of the country first 13 inch tires are very cheap to buy and maintain and of course secondly the steel rims again they're hardy and strong to be able to carry that 750 kilograms of weight as you traverse the different parts the corner buyers of Nairobi anywhere that you think that you want to deliver stuff from point A to B this super carry can exactly do that now as you move over to the luggage area this is where matters become interesting because this is where you ensure that you are able to carry everything 750 kilograms is a magic number so this is the standard derivative open top you're able to load and unload stuff quite easily and you can even order different variations you want to secure your cargo you can have a fully enclosed cargo area and of course you can also tailor make it based on your preference so if you're you know transporting ice cream for example you can actually have the body ordered using a cooler refrigerant box again making sure that you're able to supply all your customers with ease if you're carrying perishables and of course if you want an open top maybe you're carrying goods or if you have a food cart or a food vendor if you want to do those events outdoor events and you're able to actually customize it to ensure that you're able to do that quite easily with this particular super carry so 
practicality and flexibility is the name of the game. That's why the Super Curry comes in handy. Not only that, again, you do have this steel mud guard to ensure that no mud spills over and protects the critical area. So as you can see, the chassis again, well protected, galvanized to prevent rust. And of course, you can actually customize it to ensure that you're able to secure your goods and services quite easily while transporting the Super Curry. Let's move to the back and have a look at the design of the back again. Now, as we move to the back again, quite a number of things, as you can see. If you take this derivative that has an open top, you can actually open up, open the toggles, and it allows you to put in a lot of stuff. If you're transporting a bed, or you know, fridge, or transporting, whatever it is that you need to transport, you're able to actually do that quite flexibly without any hassle. Again, closing is quite easily. You can actually close it easily, and then you can secure it with a padlock or a lock that you might be provided with the person who's doing the body for you and of course you have this suzuki emblem the carry that is embossed in this particular panel and the tail lights as well and then of course you do have a spare tire just in case you might need to get it um if you have a puncture able to actually easy access it and remove it quite easily so again the name of the game is practicality the suzuki does amazing stuff for you but the question is how good is the cabin let's step inside and have a look at the cabin of this particular super car So guys, you've seen from the walk around how practical the super carry is. All the dimensions are geared to ensure that you're able to deliver your goods and services from point A to B. But how practical is the cabin? You know you're going to be carrying somebody. Somebody will be able to unload your luggage. So is it a comfortable space to be in? Let's find out by taking a look at the design phase of the cabin. And the first thing you do notice is this particular dashboard. It's got that forward cab design which I keep on talking about on Kazoo Big Boy Trev. And the reason why they do that is to ensure one that there's clever packaging, there's plenty of space between the passenger and the dashboard. Not only that, it also allows for you to become very practical with plenty of cabby holes and spaces. So the first thing you do notice is this particular dashboard on top. They have actually hollowed out the three quarters of this particular dashboard so that you have plenty of space to put your files and stuff. So cabby holes and spaces are in plenty. Now, you can actually order for an optional audio system so that you don't get bored while in traffic. Not only that, you're able to actually have a cell phone place here and a 12 volt socket to charge your device while on the go. As you check your delivery, you're able to charge and actually see what this particular vehicle is all about. You do have a glove box and actually you can actually hide some valuables right there so you can actually put your cell phone or you know your wallet whatever it is that you need to hide to ensure that nobody who has prying eyes is able to get in and find out whatever you have inside the vehicle now as you can see this is a standard five sheet gearbox manual transmission with synchromesh synchromesh allows this particular gearbox to slot into the slots very easily and you're able to select pre-select gears quite easily as you traverse a beautiful country of kenya with this suzuki super carry and then again the ratios are close ratios to ensure that you're able to actually use the torque even at very low rpm the handbrake again old school traditional standard handbrake as you can see here uh, standard nothing basic but it just works extremely fine now let's move to the instrument binnacle again the way suzuki have designed it it's very basic very simple so you have just one dial it's a speedometer dial and of course you do have a monochrome display that gives you uh, stuff about the range the temperature of the vehicle the fuel economy and all that and then also on the side you do have some indicator lights so check engine um full beam low beam um, you can even adjust the beams using this beam adjuster again allowing you to see the road quite clearly at night and of course there's so much the graphics is very clear so that you know what speed you're traveling in because you have to be safe on the road and this is what suzuki has provided courtesy of the super carry again you have plenty of blank switches so if you want to have accessories you can actually place some buttons over here like you know you can have additional fog lights as standard they're actually blank switches you can actually put there and of course if you have any other device maybe a navigation a map whatever it is that you have you're able to do that again there is also this particular steering wheel it's massive three wheel three spoke steering wheel so this particular vehicle is just built for the job there is no satellite buttons or paddle shifters it just gets the job done it's easy to drive easy to turn and maneuver and of course you do have a turning radius of 4.3 meters which is not too bad for a vehicle of this size again the way they've placed everything is just their perfect height and fit of course you do have uh wiper blades of course as you can see standard old school design and of course the 
light indicator and the signal it's a combined indicator so signal and lighting all placed in one unit this is the time you appreciate how vehicles have come so far from the very latest suzuki um you, you know the swift done that we do reviewed on cars the big boat drive you're able to identify and love the way technology has improved there's no you know a seven inch touch display that we all used to there's no navigation there's no audio system but this one just gets the job done i think it helps somebody focus a lot when it comes to delivering goods and services you also have this rear view mirror and of course a courtesy reading light with sun visors to ensure that when you're driving through the sunset the eye the sun doesn't peer through your eyes again you're able to drive very comfortably and easily and one thing i do like about this particular vehicle is the minimal a pillar so it reduces blind spots and you're able to see what is happening across the car that is something very important that everybody should understand some some of these um uh, categories in this particular uh, segment do have very large a pillar so it's blind spots and you can't see properly and of course the way they've positioned the mirrors you're able to see at the back end what is happening so again clever packaging courtesy of suzuki Seat belts come to standard because this is actually a vehicle that is actually very safe. You have seat belts, three point seat belts for the front passenger and driver, and of course, you're able to remain safe while in the Suzuki. But the question still remains how good is this car on road? How fuel efficient is this particular engine? Does it have good power? So, low down power to carry the weight 750 kilograms. How does the steering feel? And of course, how is the suspension? We're going to find out right now as we do the driving dynamics of the Suzuki Super Carry. So guys, you've seen from the walk around the design perspective of the Super Carry, a vehicle that is built and tailor-made towards the person who's looking at delivering goods and services for the last mile connectivity. But the biggest question still remains, how fuel efficient is this particular car? How good is it in terms of carrying capacity, weight, power delivery, and of course, how safe is it? Now, we start this particular review by taking a look at the engine. Now, basically, this particular vehicle we can't say up front, but I am sitting on the engine of this particular car, which is a 1.2 litre four cylinder Suzuki sourced engine, actually, with multi point fuel injection and eight valves. And it produces 54 kilowatts and 101 Newton meters of torque that is sent to the rear wheels, courtesy of a five speed synchro mesh transmission. When I say synchro mesh, synchro mesh means it has the ability to slot in correctly you don't need to corroger the gears to ensure that you are able to drive effectively so basically that allows this car to accelerate from 0 to 100 in many many seconds and of course enables you to return a fuel economy figure of roughly 5.7 liters per kilometer. which is not too bad for a vehicle that does last mile connectivity now compare that with the tank the tank is a 30 liter tank so if you were to literally just fill it with fuel and the fuel prices per liter for fuel for petrol is 126 so it's gonna cost you about 3600 shillings to fill her up now with that particular category so if you divide 5.7 it is gonna give you like fuel for roughly about a week or two weeks depending on how you use your vehicle so let's talk about the suspension and the chassis now this particular chassis has been in existence for many many years and it's actually built on the hatech platform hatech actually basically makes the chassis more rigid and of course helps it to become safer during an impact so up front you have mcpherson struts and at the back you have rigid axle with elliptical coil springs that just helps to keep the car planted and, and also able to carry this car and the load the payload is 750 kilograms if you want to extend it 800 but it's 750 is a recommended so, so you can carry quite a number of things and it's very very stable the steering wheel uh, it's called rack and pinion and of course it is able it's not as sharp as probably what you find on a suzuki swift but it is just capable you're able to know where the nose is pointing at any given time not only that you're able to you know park quite easily it's power assisted so you're able to literally park in tight spaces as you maneuver your goods and services for last mile connectivity in terms of safety there's plenty of aspects so suzuki from the active side have actually included number one three point seat belts for all the passengers up front number two the front disc brakes helps improve the stopping power and of course it has dual circuitry to create redundancy in case one line one fuel line fails 
Now, in terms of passive safety, you do have um, stiffened side members and even um, the cross members of the firewall, stiffened to ensure that impact energy is dissipated away from the passenger cell and make sure that the passengers remain safe at any given time. And that's the beauty of having the hard tech technology courtesy of Suzuki on this super carry. Now, let's talk about the general driving condition of this particular vehicle. Now, as you all know, Nairobi has a mixture of tarmac and mara, and these particular surfaces are not the smoothest, they are somewhat uneven. So, this car has the rough road package. So, remember, I told you it was McPherson struts. So, it's basically heightened McPherson struts that are built with the rough road package to ensure that it's able to absorb all the road imperfections quite easily. And at the back, the elliptical springs ensure that you're able to carry 750 kilograms with ease without the vehicle sagging down. And then, of course, the 1.5 millimeter ground clearance. Extremely important in this day and era because, again, you're able to go to the rough stuff. You guys who live in Kitengela or in Nakuru, Uko Ndani or oh, Rongai, you're actually Rongai guys you're able to drive this particular vehicle with ease and you're able to deliver last mile connectivity without getting stuck. Easy entry, approach and breakover angles as well just enhances the capability of this car off-road. And of course the 13-inch high-profile tires are fast, very durable, still belt and radial to give you maximum grip and number two, they are affordable when you want to replace them. Now, let's talk about value for money. Do you reckon this particular vehicle is far much better buy as compared to say the Tata Light S, we don't know. Let's find out as you do value for money. So guys, that has been the full review of the Suzuki Super Carry. What do I like about it? Number one, styling. Two, practicality. Three, very fuel efficient engine. Sturdy suspension. And number five, absolute value for money. But it's time for us to do VFM. Value for money. Do you reckon this is a pickup for you? We're gonna start this VFM by taking a look at the pricing. Now, this particular Suzuki carry is sold and serviced by CMC Motors, Lusaka Road, and actually goes for Kenya shillings 1.4 million VAT inclusive. It comes a three year, 100,000 kilometer warranty, whichever comes first. And of course, you can rely on CMC Motors extensive network that runs across the country. So, from Kisumu to Mombasa, Nyeri, all the way to Nanyuki, you're able to maintain the super carry. But we know this particular vehicle exists in a space where there's plenty of competition. Who are the key rivals this segment? Of course, we have the Tata Mega Light Ace, which is available right now. And of course, this one. So do you reckon it's a far much better buy? Send us your thoughts as seen on the social media handles below. We'll get back to you the feedback next week. Well, it's been an honor. Thank you so much for joining us on Kazi Big Boy. Trev, drive safe and be safe.